Breaking tonight, the Kelly file just uncovering new developments in a decision by the retail giant Costco to pull all copies of the new book, America, by conservative filmmaker Dinesh D'Souza. His book talks about American exceptionalism, which is also the theme of the new movie that D'Souza has just put out by the same name. Costco's CFO tonight saying that the book will go back on store shelves in the next few weeks and denying that it was removed for political reasons. Joining me now, Gerald Molin. He's an Academy Award winning producer of movies you may have heard of, like Schindler's List. And he is a producer of Dinesh D'Souza's film, America, which we featured on this program last week. Jerry, good to see you again. And so tonight, after we reached out to Costco, the Kelly file, and asked them about these reports, they denied that it was pulled for political purposes. They said the book sales were shoddy. And they said that the reason, uh, and, and they said that now, in the wake of the controversy, they will be reordering the books. Your take on it. Well, I just find the whole thing kind of strange because uh, it was kind of interesting that they released the book on June 1st, and then they pulled the book on July 1st, which just happened to coincide with the release of the film. And uh, it would have been nice if they had given it a week or two weeks to see how, uh, uh, how it did. And uh, we're finding out right now that, that, that it's on track to be a, a bestseller. It's, uh, it's at the top of Amazon's bestseller list right now. It is number one on Amazon.com at the moment. One. But apparently those sales were, were, were not convincing to Costco, or at least they weren't willing to see how the book did once a huge movie was released by the same title. I mean, do you smell a rat here or what? Well, yeah, it smells a little bit like smoke. I would imagine there's something there because... Uh, uh, with the outcry across the country right now, it's amazing that that uh, you know Costco waited this long to uh, to come back and say that they were going to get it out. All I heard all day uh, from every contact I had was that they had pulled the books, mm -hmm. and that the timing was strange. Uh, I didn't like it, and I, I thought it was uh, uh, kind of strange that it happened that way. The movie, the viewers should know, those who haven't seen the film yet or seen the clips that we played last week, is it takes on the, the ideas about America that some on the left, in particular the far left, have. They don't believe in American exceptionalism. They think that we're a, a country that's based on theft and all sorts of nefarious actions. And the movie tries to debunk those claims. The, the former uh, CEO of Costco is a big Democratic donor and a huge Obama donor and donor to President Obama's PAC, his super PAC that got him reelected. Uh, see any connection between those facts? Well, I see a connection, uh, certainly. But right now they're talking about uh, within two weeks, they're going to have the, the book back in the stores again. Uh, why wait the two weeks? Uh, why not do it right now? Why not show the American people that uh, uh, they mean what they say? I'll be suspect until I, I see it happen. And uh, even then, I'll always be a little suspect. Uh, of why they did this in the first place. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Hillary Clinton, her book is still there, which had disappointing sales, but she did still wind up on the bestsellers list. However, let me challenge you with this. Dr. Ben Carson, his book, now he's on the Costco board, but his book uh, stayed in Costco, and he's a controversial figure for some on the left as well. I think it's all cover for them. Uh, you're absolutely correct. I was at a Costco store yesterday, and... Uh, Hillary Clinton's book is all over the place. And as it's been reported around the country, it has not been a successful run for her. Um, so I found it a little bit uh, strange that when I looked around for Dinesh's book, that it wasn't there. And uh, then this morning, it just kind of blew up all over the place mm -hmm. uh, that had been pulled. Well, her, she was also on the New York Times bestseller list and, and uh, near the top, but... Uh, her sales were not what they expected them to be over at her publishing company. Gerald Mullen, great to see you. Good luck with the film. Thank you so much, Megan.